This is Twit. Now it's time for... A call for help. We're going to say hello to Mandy the Clown in Kensington, Maryland. Hi, Hi Mandy. I'm sorry, Mandy. Thanks. I can't resist. Hi. I love it. That's your day well, job you. is, is clowning? Uh, well, sort of. I, I have a pay stub job. I like to call it uh, a wonderful job at a uh, public access television station oh, in Montgomery County, Maryland. Oh, so you kind of do Montgomery what we do. Montgomery Community Media. Oh, um, nice. You do it a lot better than I do it. <laughs> uh, don't. Uh, it's because of the shirt, isn't it's it? Shirt. You just, if you had it, the shirt. You guys need more ninja got, shirts on the public access. She can do stilts. She can juggle. She can unicycle. <laughs> Look at that, Mandy yes, the sir. Clown, Mandy Dalton. And I love hey. your outfit. You wear like a, a is that a scrub made hat? Look oh, at I the guess. Stilts. Yeah, isn't that awesome? I do a little bit of everything. Lately, I've been kind of going for this little rockabilly kind of oh, look. Rockabilly you know? clown. So nice. I, try, I, I try to get in touch with my clown's <laughs> inner fashionista, you know? So, so what can we do for you tech wise today? Uh, Tech-wise, well, I, I work part-time at a public access television station. Please support your local public yes, access television station. Yep. Your dollars that you pay in your cable bill, some of those actually go to support your right to put things on the air. Right. Stump speech over. Right. Um, the station is going through renovation, and so they had a bunch of machines that they were not going to use anymore so they said to the county hey uh we've got this agreement with you that you get first dibs on them if we're getting rid of them the county looked at him said we're not going to take them and oh by the way you can't give them to anybody else either which doesn't make oh, any sense bureaucracy so they're going to the oh. landfill yeah and what kind of machines 2010 mac pro tower oh well, i happen to have one right display. here <laughs> this is the cheese grater <laughs> That yes. they were that wanted me to bring in, and I love this thing. In fact, I wish Apple. It's heavy. I'm sorry, Roberto. Roberto, that's why the, I'm here. We got the hard work. Uh, I wish Apple would make this is. again. We call it the cheese grater because of the dots on the front. It looks like you could. <laughs> it looks like, but please don't because it'll go right to the inside of the computer. But this was a tower case, beautifully designed. I mean, the heavy gauge aluminum. Uh, in fact, it's heavy to lift. Yeah. Uh, but it also Stop a was supremely with upgradable. You could put more hard drives in it. Uh, it had cars. And they really, I think it was elegant. Look, there's just a little latch you pull on the side here. And this just comes right off. Look how heavy that is. You could, that's, yeah. that's like Captain America's shield you there. Could, you could put it on your <laughs> block bullets. <laughs> you know what? Hide behind At it. least if they're going to the landfill, save these panels. You could really Please, use those for your yes. act, and right? You could actually mount those on the wall, right? <laughs> yeah, you could just around. mount they're it on the wall. Solid. Oh, you could fake so Steve beautiful. Jobs' name in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Just that's like across the side. Yeah. Like, oh, Steve Jobs. It's original. Like, well, you know. But if you look inside these two, I mean, this this was this is how a computer. No PC you can get today is as beautiful as this. It had bays for one, two, three, four SATA drives. This is the power supply. There's two more drive or three more drive slots here. They're using it for optical uh, drives. You see I have two uh, DVD uh, ROMs in there. This is mine, I love this. And I actually was using it until very recently. The CPU, this is uh, ours is I think a, a quad core Xeon. Uh, very fast processors uh, and uh, or actually I think there's what is in here? Do you remember? Um, I think it's two or three quad core, two quad core Xeons, I think, E5s. Anyway, really fast. Uh, this is where you put the RAM in, and it has four slots. Very easy to put. This is not DDR5, but you could get 128 gigs of RAM in this sucker. That's could, amazing. Okay. It was super easy. Like you could just. Oh, look at this. I mean, everything is so this. easy. These, these, this, and this, whole this thing is a drawer out, that like, slides out. It's so, beautiful. Isn't, isn't it, it elegant? More RAM I, slots. Oh, wait a minute. There's another four there. Look at that. Holy yes. cow. No, there, there's a ton of RAM slots in this thing. And so, I mean, I guess that's part of my question is wow. looking for resources Look online for finding out things like compatibility checkers. And so the first thing you want to do is, is see which one you have. And the way you do that, if uh, I'm going to wait till uh, Roberto finishes putting that away, is there is on the back of it, and I think you've already done this because I think you sent us the model number, but for people who are following along, on the very yeah. back of it, the serial number, there's a barcode, but there's also uh, the model number. 
And can you get that? I know it's a hard thing to shoot, but it says so right it, here. It's tough. Yeah, this is uh, PR O slash two model number A1280 EMC. So that's what you need. And you can then go look that up somewhere like everymac.com. Uh, and, and actually give it the model number, and that'll tell you everything. It'll tell you, you know, what, Great. yeah, there you go. It'll tell okay. you, so this, this tells you everything it's capable of. I had already souped this up. I put more RAM in this. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it, DDR4? Is that what we, I think we decided it was DDR4. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. DDR3. DDR3, well, okay. Go ahead, Mandy. Well, I, I, yeah, I don't want to have you lose your train of thought, but, um, okay, so here's another hitch with me. Uh -oh. I did bring this home from work, which means this was somebody else's machine. Right. And when I got it home, I was able <laughs> to get in without the password and oh, change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. So well, what you're going to do is I would strongly suggest pull the drives out and wipe them right away. Right. Right. So zero and, those things out. Question. Zero. Bootable version of Maverick. Oh, you don't have to worry. No, 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 no. Okay, this good, is so good, easy. Good, good. Okay. Um, maybe not. So the more recent versions of the Mac, you just hold down Option R, and it can load the operating system from the internet. Do you don't need a disk? Mm -hmm. But I don't have the admin password. No, that's why you take out the drives and wipe them. <laughs> okay, so you, I can do you, that you, first. You, well, can you, wait. I think this is, might be an issue with Maverick. So. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to look into that one. I know on more recent Macs, it's, just, it's really nice that Apple puts the operating system on the network, and the machine will actually, Microsoft just started doing this with Windows yeah. 10, the machine will actually say, oh, I know what version I'm capable of, what you're licensed for, and download it over the network. It has a network install, in other words, built into it. By the way, here's And so another. you would do that in recovery mode? Yeah, option R. Yeah, option R. Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, by the way, here's the trick I used to figure out the serial number. I didn't try to read it. I just used my iPhone, and I get in there, and I turn on the flash, and I snap a picture of it, and then that I can zoom in on any way I want to. It's an easy way to get the uh, get the serial number off of Or I do this all the time on the back of machines and stuff. So it's a, whoops, well, you don't have to shoot that, but it's easy to do. So uh, that would be question number one. If not, you can always go to eBay and get a copy of Mavericks. Um, I think you actually have to purchase it is what I'm thinking well I've been a Mac user for a long time oh, and I have, have a, yeah you might have a yeah I so I have my own account oh. and my own iCloud and all of that if you could get I was a just, copy of it and put it on a bootable DVD I presume you have the optical drives yeah yeah or even a thumb drive yeah see I'm not even sure these are these are seven years old I don't know if it'll boot from a thumb drive yeah, I, I think I'm but, not sure. But on on my MacBook Pro, which is over here, and that's yeah. 2014, I can just create an optical. That's what I would a, do. A, you okay, guaranteed you could boot from a DVD, and Boom. then you you restart the machine. You hold the Option key while it's booting, and you boot from the DVD. And you don't even have to wipe the drives first. Once you've got the operating system, you know Mavericks just, install booted up, you you go into Disk Utility and you wipe them. Yeah. And I would you can do clean install okay. and yeah, you're done there with you it. go. Or you could do this. Great. Oh, there you go. Clean install. There you go. All right. but And for Mavericks. Okay. That goes all the way back to Mavericks. Oh, perfect. So, you, perfect. so all right. So, but again, you want to go to every Mac to find out if you what's the latest version of the operating system. That's the one you're going to want to put on there. Uh, we put a new video card in here. This is kind of an interesting thing. This might be overkill. Remember <laughs> that you can have a video card that's too fast for the bus, because it's got to be the bus speeds are a limiter factor, and uh, and frankly the CPU is a limiting factor. Most games uh, are, you know, they use the GPU, but they're going to maybe CPU bound if they can't yeah. figure out where that guy's supposed to be. Doesn't matter if they can draw him faster. Yeah. So uh, I I would say this is probably crazy, but we put the latest <laughs> GeForce in here. This is uh, this is the TI, the uh, 1080 Ti. We oh actually benchmarked it on here versus uh, Radeon HD 7950. It got the TI, uh, 1080Ti got a Geekbench 4 metal score. Metal is uh, Apple's graphics low level routines of 68,013. What? Which is kind of amazing, <laughs> yeah. And that's running on this Mac, the Mac Pro 5.1 with, and it shows you all the RAM and all that stuff with this, there it is, the Xeon uh, E5620. Two processors, eight cores, 
So that means that each they're dual core, two dual core processors, sixteen threads. Mm -hmm. That's pretty impressive. I the the yeah, really the I things have. are going to yeah. slow you down on this are I/O and you know the bus yeah. speeds, not the processor because frankly newer processors aren't much faster. You've got enough RAM; it can't be as fast as the as the latest greatest RAM. I would probably say no need to put a 1080i. Although I'm well, go ahead, Anthony, who did a lot. We were going to make a hackintosh. The interesting thing is. I, I benchmark it using Windows also, and it passed uh, VR Mark as like a. Oh, so you could you run. Could, you could like. You could run an Oculus, Oculus Rift, Rift on your. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You yeah, walk the, around in, your, your in, apartment. Uh, in Bootcamp oh Windows, gosh. get ready for this. The Geek Bench 4 OpenCL score, which is the equivalent of uh, metal. So what we were saying, 68,000 on the Mac, 191,000. Uh, what? Uh, yes. This, oh my God! This is uh, amazing performance compared to it was 121 percent faster than the radio. What Cambridge. are you doing? Go this back. is a nice machine, right? Yeah. I would yes. hate if you could to rip see this, this out landfill. and just put all the the, the current um, hardware that Apple makes in here. And well, the nice thing about the GeForce, this GeForce is you. By the way, you do want to if you buy an upgraded video card, and I had put something in here before, but get the Mac <sighs> version, and there aren't a lot of cards drivers. that make Mac versions, but that's because the power supplies are different, the connectors right. are different, you have to get one that works with the Mac, okay. and then they'll have Mac drivers for it as well. Notice what we I did here. Yeah. We have four power connectors. There's the two, and then there's two more that we're getting off of the uh, hard drive. I couldn't put another hard drive in here because it's taking some of the power from the Sucking hard drive. Sucking so cables. much power. Just <laughs> wow. Yeah. But yeah. this is such a well-designed case. The, the cooling is so good. The power supply is so beefy that it, it handles all this just fine. Um, I was I, amazed I, I this a, worked. I, I have another question, yeah. and this is kind of unrelated to this, but sort of related to the uh, GPU thing. I, I think I, you mentioned recently on a Mac Break Weekly some of the um, external GPUs that are coming out. Yeah. For, yeah this so, you would not use with this because yeah, sure. those use Thunderbolt 3. You, it. it doesn't make sense to put the GPU outside unless you have a super fast yeah connection into it and so for that you need thunderbolt 3 but you but you could do that with modern like for instance the mac no you can't do it with the mac pro the new mac pro because it's thunderbolt 2 so yeah. you could do it it would work but it wouldn't give you the yeah. speeds that you'd yeah. want you this Got goes it. right on the bus though this is going right into the pci no, no, express right, yeah. it's the best it's That's the amazing best. Yeah. i know right <laughs> so you would have i think if you i mean you're going to spend some money I mean, the yeah. card alone costs more than a modern Macintosh. <laughs> but uh, so don't get, I would say, you know, a 980 would be plenty, a 960. That's what okay. I would put it as a 960 maybe. Um, and so save your money on the video card because you, you I think you can overdo it. Mm -hmm. But if you put right. more RAM in here, uh, put a little bit better video card, that Radeon that it came with was pretty crap. Uh, yeah. And put faster hard drives. I would look at SSDs, frankly. Oh yeah. SSDs yeah, no, make a big I, that difference. was one of my questions. Was should should that be one of the first orders of business yes. an SSD for the boot? Yeah, so much just for the boot, too. just one, right? Okay. And yeah. a small one, 128 gigs would be plenty. Make that your boot drive. You still have room. You have three more drive bays, so you could still have you know four terabytes per if you wanted. You and could. and there are two uh, 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 two uh, two terabyte. Uh, hard drives, I believe, already in there, so I can yeah. just move oh, you're on. Set. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, they the that did not world. come with that. They had been doing some upgrading as it is. They kept that thing. Well, on. yeah, uh, it it's a TV station, so yeah. obviously, there. You know, we were talking Storage. about Adobe Premiere. We're yeah. talking about the yeah. full Creative Cloud suite. You know, I frequently edit on Premiere. I edit on. Um, uh, Less on Final Cut 10. Uh, well, I started out in Avid. We so. were using, we had, I don't remember, six or seven or eight of these, I think, uh, because we were using Final Cut. And when we replaced them with Premiere on Windows machines, we had a bunch of these Mac Pros to give away. It's mostly older ones, 2008. But we gave them to a local high school for their video production. Actually, we should have talked talk to the, I, I don't know if the local uh, public access was using these anymore, but the high school was really happy to have them. And so we, fa we, unlike the county of uh, whatever county you're in, in Maryland, <laughs> we don't have those uh, legal restrictions. Well, so we were able to yeah, give it to they, a high school. Yeah, they just had some restrictions. They, they had to follow some it's rules. It's probably security uh, wise. You know, and yeah. It, yeah. It's Especially if they're not using passwords. And so look, at, look at what you can do. I mean, this has two optical 
I know. connections, one in, one out. So you can digital uh, optical in and out. It's got dual gig, I think it's gigabit, but it's got dual ethernet ports on there. This was something Apple built, two FireWire ports. And then three, these are all the old USB 2 ports, alas. But that's another desirable thing for me because frequently I have people come to the public access station with things on old media, legacy media, yeah. right? Uh, right. And they want to transfer it so that they can play it HD over the air. Right. Uh, because that is one of, by the way, another plug for public access. You can put anything on the air that you want, people. Please <laughs> bring your content to us. I know. Uh, I've seen public access it. in Manhattan. It's amazing <laughs> what they do. So Yeah, we've actually got <laughs> professional wrestling at our studio. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. It's about uh, time. Wrestling. It's an it's a, uh, outfit called Fight, F-I-G-H-T. Don't How funny. ask me what the acronym is all about. All I know is it's, it's like a uh, soap opera with blood. Wow, <laughs> how fun is that? So it's like real wrestling. Yeah. Well, yeah. real. I, I just, I, it, this breaks my heart because I feel like Apple designed easily the best tower ever. Oh, and yeah. They abandoned yeah. it for the Mac Pro, the trash can Mac, oh, which had black. zero upgradability. Uh, this was the ultimate in upgradability, and it's still. I mean, still just a and work of art. And you can live in it if you need to. You could move right? in. You oh, would yeah. like to. this one Airbnb. Yeah. So this, I was running, I was using this, my, uh, my teenager was using this to run Windows on mm -hmm. for video games. Uh, I ended up buying him a newer PC. So uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we'll keep it here and we can, should we do a, now you said Frankintosh. Is that different from a Hackintosh? <laughs> What's a Frankintosh? Well, that's what the kids are telling me these days, Oh, the Leo, kids. Is, uh, the kids. The you kids. Know, the kids. Do whatever the kids say. I'm gonna, yeah. But the kids are telling me that Hackintoshing is is like tricking uh, old P PC parts right. to become right. a brand new Mac right. and, mm -hmm. and a top of the line Mac. Right. Um, Frankintoshing is more like, hey, treat the old girl like ah. she's that kind of sweet antique from the past. This is a Frankintosh. Just but like Frankenstein. That's a Frankintosh. Where they yeah. took an old dead person and We're treated him like a new person. So new parts together yeah. and put her and keep exactly. this thing going. It's amazing, this thing. I, yeah. I've, and that's the idea is that I, I don't I don't like the whole culture nowadays of yeah. disposable hardware. We I, tested this Mac Pro with the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti against our ultimate video gaming machine with a very similar, I think it was the same card in that, and it came close. Our 3D what? Mark Time Spy score for this machine was 7870 compared to 8400 for Overcome, which was probably state of the art for last year, as good as oh, you yeah. can yeah. get, and it cost five thousand dollars or six thousand dollars the orange vr mark orange room score which tells you whether you can do vr was 57 28 for this it could do 128 125 frames a second oh. but that's about half what the and uh, wasn't the score was eight core Africa. if i remember right this was like a five thousand dollar machine oh yeah i'm sure this was oh. hugely expensive at the time yeah back back at but the time you, but yeah. and by the way this is another interesting point you could probably find these on ebay for oh, yeah I don't know, under a thousand, I would guess, and that might be something to look into. Even just the chassis yeah. alone, which is beautiful. Yeah. All the well, chassis. Mandy, it's uh, you're no clown when it, you're no slouch when it comes to uh, computers. I think it's great that you got this, and Thank I would you. say and this this is yeah. going to be really very comparable to a modern PC once you put the parts in. Oh yeah.